so today I finally managed to, to start milling um, it's a pretty gloomy day uh, a lot of winter finally arrived uh, February 1st which is uh, usually we have snow much sooner or snow that actually sticks around but I decided to come today when I was try ready to, to try milling which is fine uh, just uh, a little bit wet and uh, dirty so uh, so far I've milled up two logs and learned a few things how to get straight and even uh, slabs or, or um, lumber I think um, and also I managed to, to screw up yesterday because uh, I forgot to turn off the ignition on the excavator so it was actually the battery was flat this morning luckily there's a, a relative of, of our neighbors that are picking up all of the wood here and um, and he had a, a jump starter battery powered so that was pretty good but now um, I've just milled up to um, eight by two and a half and uh, one eight by three you can see them here uh, it looks beautiful and it's amazing so the only thing that is a little bit uh, different that i thought it would be is the the fact that it uses a lot of gas so i'm gonna set up so you can see how the whole process actually looks like so i've set up the mill uh logs and excavator so i can easily lift the logs straight on to the mill just by picking them up, turn around, and then put them down. Uh, but if you don't have an excavator or a tractor, you can uh, position the mill below the lumber uh, and make a simple setup with some 2x4s or, or similar, so you can roll the logs onto the mill. I just happen to have access to this old uh, Honix, uh, so for me it's just convenient to, to use that instead. But you can totally get by with some elbow grease and a bit of setup uh, prep uh, instead. Um, the log that I'm milling here is a bit crooked, so I decided to just uh, mill uh, small slabs instead of lumber. Um, and one of the things that n needs a little bit of getting used to or good at is estimating how much to take off in the first pass when you have logs that are not very straight. So I ended up either taking a little bit too little or too much off the log. So what I did was I tried to be a bit conservative and rather do multiple passes if I missed. Controlling the height of the log is quite easy with the log lifters. They snap into place and you can instantly read off the height so it's quite easy to get consistent uh, thicknesses. Here you can see uh, what the speed of the milling process is. The saw has milled up quite a few logs before uh, I took this shot so it's not super sharp it's uh, actually quite a bit dull um, later on I'll show you when I sharpen it what it looks like after it's been sharpened uh, and see how it performs then I used some veggies in the beginning but uh, I after a while I found that most of the logs didn't really need them another thing that I need to get used to is to sharpen the saw in field the saw is quite heavy and has uh, the saw carriage attached, so it's a bit cumbersome to sharpen. Uh, any tips you have are quite welcome. Here you can see the speed after it's been sharpened. It's not super sharp here either, uh, not as sharp as uh, when I hold it in a fixed vise, but at least you, it gives you an idea of what the speed is. The saw is a uh, steel uh, MS880, the biggest saw that they make. Uh, it's a tremendous machine, it's quite powerful and as you can see it just chews through this hard maple like it was butter. The bar that I'm using here is 21 uh, inches which is a bit short for the biggest logs that I milled up but my other bar is uh, 48 inches uh, and I bought it used and it needs a thorough uh, reshaping and resharpening before I use it and I didn't bother doing that before I started milling. So this log I wanted to cut up into regular lumber. It's also a bit crooked uh, as well, but not as bad as the other one. The log turner um, you see me using uh, here 
um, is from Logosol, and I'm not very excited about the build quality, to say the least. Uh, I'd much rather just go with a regular steel version, um, but it came with the, the mill, and I bought the mill used, so I thought I'd give it a go, but not something that I would recommend. Here I'm milling up uh, a 2x8 and afterwards some, some 3x8s, which is quite heavy since this is uh, maple and it's of course green. Uh, but um, it turned out really nice. All in all, it's a really fun and exciting experience to mill up uh, all of these logs uh, in this way. I grew up working at my uncle's sawmill, but it's still something that is very satisfying with a simple uh, semi-portable sawmill like this that you can just take anywhere and mill up smaller logs for your own lumber. I'm imagining that I'll be using this for like uh, picking up uh, garden trees and uh, hard to access places and, and more exotic um, uh, lumber that is, you can handle on, um, on like a manual basis. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you some of the modifications that I did.